You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what is up, guys, and welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio, live right here on iHeart Radio, and I'm your host, Dini. Uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, we normally don't broadcast on the holidays, but we had to do it. We had to do it, and I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Um, I had a chance to clean out my office uh, where I do the podcasting that. And, uh, man, like, having just clear space has been, like, a tremendous thing. Plus, you know, I run a business out of my office as well. But, uh, man, just just having a clear space brings so much clarity and and all of that. And I didn't get a chance to make it to my in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner, but um, I didn't want to go anyway. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so I hope you guys had an incredible, incredible day. And I uh, can't wait to dive into this interview with you guys. But before we do that, I want to say, you know, when one approach is not working to reach the desired goal, that's not a reason to abandon the goal. Instead, it is time to devise another approach. Sometimes the objective and the means to that objective become so intertwined that it is difficult to imagine one without the other. Yet there are many different ways to reach any particular goal, given enough persistence and creativity. That's why for those who are able to consistently get things done, there is no such thing as failure. Mm. There are only approaches which have been proven ineffective. There is always a way to achieve whatever you desire. Even when you've already fallen short of the mark, there is a way to do it. That way may not be obvious and uh, it may well require some skillful, creative thinking. It's there though. Trust me, guys, it's there. Learn from each attempt, learn from each approach, and you'll surely discover one that works spectacularly. Take that from me, Dina Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bond. Yo, hello and welcome to another incredible episode of Behind the Mind series where we dive into the universe of the people who create these marvelous aspirations. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas, and for my vigilantes audience family. And of course, my hooligans and shout out to my people who are vegetarian pescatarian or vegans we are averaging over 41,000 live listeners and we've been at this for seven solid years i appreciate all of you guys who have been rocking with the kid on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature education news art films and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists nominees to actors comedians ceos technology revolutionaries educators visual artists from authors to professors and vampires or people think they're vampires it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and chat with Dini so check it out to book an interview or to appear on my other show Skeptics email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com that's V as in Victor or you can email me at chatwithdini at onlyonemediagroup.com 
We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That's Vigilante's radio purpose. You know the number to dial 701-801-9813. Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from my website. Only one media group.com right from the home page. You can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the midst and in a chat room with all of us. So feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here, but only as time permits. Sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much. And as always, all episodes are available for free download. You can grab it from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iHeart to radio, Spotify, iTunes, cast box player fm youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website i've conducted over 1000 interviews and counting all right all right again welcome to the show you're listening to vrl that is vigilantes radio live right here on iheart to radio and i'm your host danny uh if you want to help support the show independent journalism Make sure you hit the cash app. That is dollar sign. Only one a media group and receive a shout out and some turkey sandwich in the mail. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, our interviews go beyond the music, the news, the books, the acting, the films, the movies, the businesses, the technology, the education, entertainment, and sometimes even the ego. We go behind the scenes and to the minds of these awesome people who are out here giving it their all for you and for me. And with that, let's go ahead and welcome our very first guest, Mark Kelly Mack, to the show. Yo, 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 what is up, man? Welcome to Vigilantes Radio. Yo, thanks for having me. For sure, for sure, man. How are you today? Man, I'm doing all right. Stuff, getting some of that Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner food. How you doing yourself? Doing great, man. Can't complain, can't complain. So, yeah, man, we are here to talk about your life, your music. And uh, I think that's a perfect place to start, you know, especially with the life. So uh, you can give us your life story, man, the genesis of Mark Callie Mack. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, Mark Callie Mack, uh, I I think I started making music. Um... I started making music, I want to say my freshman or sophomore year, I started making beats. Um, I kind of had one of those cliche stories, you know what I'm saying? I always grew up in music when I was younger, beating around, you know what I'm saying, just making beats around the house, things like that. And one of my older brothers actually taught me how to how to transpire that and put that on a, a doll program, FL Studio, and I started that. It wasn't until probably about, say, about my senior year in high school, around the time I... Uh, my mother had passed away from a uh, epilepsy. Uh, it was about it was around that time I had started I had started uh, writing music and started figuring out that I can actually rap. Like, oh man, I need to maybe I should rap more than I should make beats. And uh, from there, I just I just just kept grinding, just kept uh, just kept kept moving forward, making music from there. Absolutely. So, do you still produce any? I need to start. You know, I have some people that tell me I should get back to it, but uh, I actually I've been so I've been so caught up in in just rapping. You know what I mean? Just straight spitting. Uh, I actually just completely abandoned it. Yeah, absolutely. So, who are like some of your musical influences? Um, it's so many. Like I could sit here and tell you like ten people who I, I relate to. I would say mostly it would be J Cole. Um, hearing his music is just inspirational. It touches me, so I, I kind of want that same effect on people. Uh, kind of letting people know things that I've been through uh, that they can get through it too. You know what I mean? Like the ups and downs, the pain, everything that I've been through. Um, think you know, just a lot of different artists is really. You know, I could say Kanye West, J Cole, you know, Kendrick, uh, Wayne, Eminem, you know, Biggie. Pop, really, you know what I'm saying? Just, and I think that's how we all are, you know, a product of our environment and who we grew up listening to, you know. Um, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, I know this question is kind of unique, um, but this goes to, like, the studio performance aspect, you know. Do you have any 
influences on that side of the spectrum. As far as in the studio? Yep. Oh, um, not really. I just try to be myself, you know what I mean? I, that's, that's the best thing I can do, just be myself. Um, I just kind of, I, I kind of just look look up to just myself, you know what I'm saying? In a way, trying to be the best me I can be. Um, like I said, my mother kind of gave me that drive when she passed away just to kind of put that hunger in me to be better and just to just be myself and just trust in myself and just continue to move for, uh, moving further, try to be successful for not just myself and my family as well. Absolutely. So what about the music scene in Texas right where you're at? Um, how is the support there? The support, I mean, you know, People, people not gonna support you. They say that your friends and uh, your closest people not gonna support you until you make it, you know. Um, but I feel like with this uh, album I had just released, I think I've been getting a lot of love. Um, I think I've been doing quite well. You know, we over twenty, twenty five thousand streams in the first uh, couple weeks. So, yeah, I feel like you know. Thank, you, thank you. Uh, but the people that's around, I mean, like I said, you. you it's people that mess with it, but, you know, everyone's pushing their own agenda, so no one's going to necessarily, like, support you as much as you are. So it is what it is. You just got to find that right niche, that right group of people who going to rock with you, who going to listen to your music and really uh, feed off of that. Absolutely. So you dropped a new album, and uh, the album's called Fish Don't Belong in Tanks. Uh, so tell yes, us about this, this project, man. Man, this project... I've been thinking about the name for a while. Uh, it's been a couple of years I've been thinking about it from this book I had read. Um, you know, and it was this, this Buddhist monk, and he was just saying, like, you know, you have you have two scenarios. Uh, fish can either be uh, in a tank where he's secluded. Yeah, he's away from all the dangers of the outside and things, but he's limited. You know what I mean? He's limited to his thinking. He's limited to, you know what I'm saying, everything he gets to experience. And, like, on the flip side, a flip in the ocean being free, he, he yeah, he's exposed to maybe bigger predators and pollution and things of that nature, but he's still able to be himself and be free and make his own decisions. You know what I mean? So I say that fish don't belong in tanks. That, that comes from me also, you know, I'm a Pisces, so... You know the the sign for that is a fish, the symbol for that. So you know, I kind of just went with that, and this album actually like transpired kind of quickly. Like it just started off just me making a lot of music, and then I'm like, man, I got a lot of tracks. I need to, you know, let's actually do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of releasing little mixtapes here and there. Like let's go on and you know what I'm saying push it further. Let these people uh, hear what they want to hear. Absolutely. So this is your your first official album. First official album, debut album. Um, like I said, wow. other than little tapes and things of that nature. First, uh, first album, and I've been doing everything myself. Me and my big brother, uh, we've been literally doing everything ourselves, acting as our own. Uh, you know, just independent at the moment. Absolutely, man, that's incredible. And congratulations on uh, the new album, taking that leap. You know, trusting yourself. Um, most definitely. So. An album, you know, t typically is a different scope of the business. Um, right. I, I believe, you know, it's more of a professional outlook right. or, in or input into the uh, output, I mean, into the world. Yeah. Um, did it create any kind of, like, pressure, would you say? Um, most definitely. Most definitely it did, uh, especially as far as deadlines, you know what I mean? Trying to make sure that we delivered getting everything we was working all the way down to the last minute making sure everything was uh you know what i'm saying as good as we can as perfect as we can make it you know what i mean and um just pressure just you know tension in the tension in the studio just the grinding the hustling like bills everything that's going on with covid and other situations that's going on right now bills is tight you know and just trying to put everything that we have sacrificing time money you know what i mean time away from certain things to really dedicate and put into the um, you know put our all into it and as a debut album you know i know a lot of people put 10 12 16 tracks i know nowadays people attention span is short but i got a lot of uh backlash you know because i got 24 uh fish don't belong in tanks has 24 tracks and uh, a deluxe edition uh with about four extra tracks on it is coming as well so I know a lot of people was like, you know, maybe that's too many for your debut. You know, how you going to follow it up? But, 
you know, not to be as humbly as I as I can, not to be too cocky, but I wake up writing music.